really don't know uh, the reception I'm going to get from the Marwa YouTube family, but uh, it doesn't matter. I think it can uh, go both ways. I think for me, what's important is the message that I'm trying to portray here as a Kenyan YouTuber and try to get people to understand who to choose on YouTube. What are you looking for? Are you getting something back? You know, that's, that's the message. So a couple of uh, months ago, we had this... Uh, Honorable MP in, in the Kenyan scene who came out all, who was all over the social media with these expensive watches and clothing and people got really pissed off. So this is uh, the same situation whereby somebody goes up in the country where people are basically not well off and you come down with your millions of money and build up this very beautiful big mansion and by the end of the day, I look at it as, as a very good grounds for it intimidating people. As an investor, I want to invest where I'm getting back money. You know, you put money to get back money. That's the principle. So if I was to invest up in the country, it means it, in the first case, it has to be a scenario whereby I've got business in town. I've got uh, properties in town that generate money and so have like a buffet that I can invest up in the country. Others, Shago, Najanga Summer House. Simple, nice, with a beautiful garden. That is enough. Anything more than that, it's a show off. Now, <laughs> uh, let's get to today's uh, topic where we shall be talking about this bashing that uh, one of our famous YouTubers in the country has had from, I think, a YouTuber from, it could be Colombia, or, or uh, Cameroon, even some, somebody like that. He's been bashing one of a very famous Kenyan YouTuber. And I tried to look at it. And <laughs> as a very young YouTuber, I had so much to learn. You know, there's a lot, a lot to learn from this because of the fact that uh, these are two big elephants. They are popular in their own ways. And uh, it would be advisable that any YouTuber in Kenya or even all over, should learn from this because this says a lot about how people need to behave towards one another. It also gives you a clue about who's your friend, what do they want, and so sort of like uh, it's a very big uh, eye opener. And that's why I'm doing this video. So this video is not about uh, putting down anybody or uh, building anybody. These two are not even my friends, you know. I'm not my friends and uh, I can promise you I don't even follow them. But I started following even because I listened to him and I saw so much logic in what this guy is saying. And for me, it as a Kenyan YouTuber based in uh, Sweden, I thought this is a very good opportunity to just uh, take it up and try to also enlighten other YouTubers and see where we end up. So let's move on. YouTube has given very positive knowledge to a very, very big mass of people in regard to business, in regard to, you know, construction, cooking, traveling, all those things, you get them on YouTube. So for me, YouTube is, you know, like another uh, big university. So when I think like that, I just felt like these guys actually gave me nothing with this. What I saw was more like a circus because uh, I don't want to watch content where you're busy showing me about your house, uh, your lady going around the house and how people are giving you gifts and telling me, oh, I'm good and how you're helping the people around. That's, that does not give me nothing. It doesn't put bread or bacon on my table. No, no, no. If anything, it doesn't give me anything here. That's what I'm looking on YouTube. So I just felt like uh, stop it. But that's not the issue. And I'm not here to put anybody down. I'm just here to educate you because Hustle a Day is more about educating. Are we together? Yes, hopefully. Let's take about even <laughs> this guy. This guy is a good storyteller and he talks. Uh, and uh, I got a chance to, I don't know how I bumped into his video because I'd, 
I didn't know. I, I don't know how I ended up, but uh, he just came up on my screen the first video, and I decided to watch it. Uh, there was a lot. There was uh, more like a circus. Ian Marwa circus and all that. And I think maybe that thumbnail must have gotten me to to watch his video, and then I decided to watch everything. So when I was I was done, I was like, my God, this guy has really opened my eyes. This guy got me thinking so much as a young YouTuber, you know, and I think people should take him quite serious. Both ways. Yesterday, I also saw Marwa trying to like um, doing a live live stream, but I I, I was not, uh, I, I didn't want to go there and, and start listening because when I listened to even, I sort of like got uh, my perspective about uh, what I need to take in and uh, what is important for me as a person. So uh, I think it would be nice to just try to look at uh, what is it that has been the problem and what have we learned from all this. The first one is these guys, from my analysis, they seem to be to have been very, very good friends. Ivan is best, I think, somewhere, was it the US or Brazil or South America, somewhere? I think that's where he's best, yeah. Or maybe, yeah, I think he's best in the US because they went to some, no, now I'm not very sure about where he's best, but anyway, he's best somewhere on those sides, okay? Now, and they did have a very good uh, contact with one another. They did meet and build some sort of uh, content creators, a relation, that's what I want to call it, and which was okay, but he seemed to have been, uh, Miss satisfied somewhere in between and then they parted ways is that funny it's part of life because when you're friends it has to be a two-way traffic and are we together on this which means that you benefit from me as a friend and maybe a benefit for you as my friend that should be the relationship but the moment people realize that the relationship is biased and it's a one-way uh, relationship it doesn't work it does not work so as Ian puts it it seems like Marwa is one of those guys that want to benefit he's a dominant friend you know when he's your friend he's in the first place your friend because he wants to benefit something another thing is if he doesn't take no for an answer and the good part is he's got proof he shows these things on his videos and all that very well uh, done videos clear not exaggerated he's a genuine character i can see it on his eyes you know when i listen to even then somehow it justifies how I thought from the word go. And that's why I stopped uh, watching his videos. I'm not telling you to stop watching his video. Watch it, subscribe and all that. I don't have a problem because we're not buddies. And it doesn't matter for me. This uh, video is more about just uh, giving you uh, content, educating you. That's, that's all about the video. Let's move to the next thing. And uh, there was something about uh, respect which uh, Marwa, according to Ivan, Marwa doesn't have to have respect. And uh, this came out mostly when it came to ladies. Now that you Germanica don't I think so. So, so he talks of uh, Jamaica where there was uh, this uh, beautiful girl and uh, who was a friend to Marwa's friends in the first case. And then, uh, back behind uh, the back, so but Marwa got tried to do something with her or build some sort of relationship or maybe just lay her, you know. Because for me, I get a, 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 I get a picture that's this type of a guy. Am I bothered? Not at all. Not even for a minute. No, it's it's about respect. I've listened to how Marwa talks. I've seen him with uh, all these girls when he's taking this, you know, like there we do it on YouTube. Hey, this is my house. This is my girlfriend. This is my boyfriend. Look at this beautiful place. That is a you. That is a YouTube's life, you know. In reality, is it the case? Absolutely no. Forget it. Ukwelo <laughs> mambo. Nothing like that in reality, you know. Then, Ivan goes ahead and says that uh, 
he, de- he didn't have a problem with that. The thing is, you have to get consent. Like if you're doing pictures with your friends or if it's uh, you want to show them on social media, I think it's very important that you ask. Then Ivan goes ahead and shows Marwa and when he's hosting Marwa, I think so, and he told him, you can film anywhere in my beautiful house. I don't know if you guys just saw that. There's a beautiful apartment. My God, oh, heaven. I, I looked at it and I was like, wow, that's beautiful. But the thing is, he had told him, film anywhere, but not my bedroom. You know, there are so many people who are very sensitive to these things. And anyway, if you came to my place or you go to another friend's place, do have some respect. Ask Ask them, what is it that I need to know, you know, so that, you know, even where you're sitting on the sofa, people have their specific uh, place where they sit. So I usually like try to ask, where do I need to sit? So I know I'm not sitting on somebody's seat, you know. Anyway, even tells Marwa, please, please, please do film in my house, but don't go in my bedroom. Okay. Behind the back, this guy is busy with his uh, GoPro and then films this guy's bedroom and shows it on social media. You know, for me, that's even us about the lady, you know, and he says the lady was borrowing Mara's clothes. <laughs> Why am I laughing? <laughs> but anyway. Let's get to business. So when he says that this lady borrowed, uh, Marwa was complaining that the lady had tried to borrow him clothes. And I remember I went back and I looked like who should borrow who, you know? Is it Marwa to borrow this lady his her clothes or is it vice versa? The lady is beautiful. And for me, she's an upmarket girl. I can see it. I stay, I stay in Europe. I can tell by that simple look. She's a beautiful girl. Who is Marwa? Ask me another. That's exactly what Ivan tries to lift up. So just learn that when you go to somebody's place, respect their place, respect other people's, uh, because other people do work just like the way you're working. So I think the beautiful part is if I'm visiting you, I want to also contribute because of an income, I'm not dependent on, and by the way, I'm not dependent on YouTube for my income. YouTube is more like an interest. And, and so it's only if I didn't have a job that I'll expect a friend of mine to contribute maybe the most. And in that sense, I'll be, I'll explain it in four hands. I won't just come from your door from nowhere and expect you to do everything. No, I'll tell you my situation if I know I'm not able to contribute. I think Mara also did open a very big chance to these uh, young uh, YouTube content, young content creators in Kenya because they're all flocking at his village. Uh, and uh, one of those things that I really gave him respect is the fact that he's a good, good businessman because even if you told me that, I would do exactly that. But there's the downside of it. So. What happened is uh, you, he did build uh, this uh, very big, good mansion and use that as a platform to invite all these uh, young content creators and also from his village. Now, I don't, there are so many, I don't even remember the name. And I uh, showed them that YouTube is a thing. From Ivan, Marwa talk, and even and another lady, it's like Marwa for him, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. He meets you, it's all about YouTube. And it's good, and it's good, but YouTube is not the ultimate. You know, and people do come and fed. So I hope the young guys who have been there should learn that YouTube should just yeah, take YouTube as a side income. It's very, very hard to like be very dependent on YouTube because not everybody is going to be a star. You know, I've been there for three years or four years, not extremely active, but I have come to learn that YouTube cannot be, be my first income. I cannot do that. That's a big, big mistake. So. YouTube as a side hustle is good. And uh, I've talked about Amaro being uh, like a businessman. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and this is for the fact that uh, all these boys, all these uh, content creators that uh, I saw there, or the, the few videos that I watched from that uh, village, 
everything was about Marwa on their channels, you know. I didn't, but I, I saw a lot of potential in these guys. So I would just recommend that they go out and uh, try to get something else because they've already been given a kickstart. Try to work on their videos. It's not about just GoPro. I think, and uh, they did videos and uploaded them direct without editing. I think so. When it comes to YouTube, people have to learn, uh, try to learn other things, you know, try to learn about editing, Adobe Premiere, all this copcat and all that, how to edit your for your videos that it can be good. And so when you do that, you are like becoming a complete uh, content creator. I really don't know uh, the reception I'm going to get from the Marwa YouTube family, but uh, it doesn't matter. I think it can uh, go both ways. I think for me, what's important is the message that I'm trying to portray here as a Kenyan YouTuber and try to get people to understand who to choose on, 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 uh, on YouTube. What are you looking for? Are you getting the something back? You know, that's that's the message. Because YouTube, as we talked, it's a big university. By the end of the day, I want to learn. So it can be about how to communicate. It can be about cooking food, about construction, about traveling. Am I getting something back? That's in the first place what I ask myself when I want to watch something on YouTube. Your boy here, Hustle a Day. And if you haven't subscribed on my channel, please do. It's been a pleasure to host you and... Take care. Be good. Bye.